here with Mark Jones, Abertown winning striker. It's a fantastic end to a fantastic game. Yeah, uh, well, obviously, uh, well, 2 1 down with seven minutes to go. You, you do start thinking, obviously, it's not going to be our day. Uh, we had a somewhat fortress second goal, but then there was only one team that was going to go on and win it after that. The momentum carried on, and luckily, we've got the winner. You took your goal excellently. Yeah, um, well, as Stephen Evans obviously has just let it drop in behind him. Uh, I just nipped on to it. I thought that he was going to try and challenge me, so I was expecting the challenge when he had not commit. Uh, the goalkeeper was rushing out to me, and there's only one place that I could have put it to score, and that's what I've done. When your celebration at the end, everyone's on top of you. Must be absolutely delighted for that. Yeah, not too bad, but I think uh, some of the boys need to lose some weight. <laughs> So there's no injuries there for the final? Um, there's one or two little niggles, that's all, uh, but obviously we've got a week to get over that now. Obviously we'll prepare right in uh, training on Tuesday uh, and then we'll go again because Newtown are not going to be in, uh, an easy game. After having so many last minute goals go against us, it's just fantastic for the for us. And so. Yeah, and as I said, to be honest, uh, after the second goal there was only one team that was going to go on and win it. The momentum had swung with ourself. Uh, so it would be nice to get it before uh, uh, extra time, which is what's happened. But even in extra time, I've only seen one team going on and winning it. I've heard of our defenders talking about you, that, oh, thank God the game's over, get away from Mark James now. So what do you think you are against defenders? <laughs> I'm not too sure who you'd have to ask them. Big, strong? Um, well, I just try to do the best of my ability. Obviously, I'm not the biggest uh, boy there, but uh, what I'll just do, I'll just make sure I get my body in, obviously, and I just work for the team and anything I can contribute, that's what I'll do. And then a magnificent performance by Connor Ski himself, being in the bottom six against top yeah. six side. Surely they should be top six side on that performance? Yeah, well, obviously, uh, what you've noticed, uh, they did bring some boys in, obviously, in January as well, which is now on after the split. So they have strengthened a lot. Obviously, they brought Cortez Bell in. So, you know, going forward next season, they, they are going to be a force to be reckoned with and they're going to challenge for the top six. But obviously, it, it all depends on the league strengthening all the time. So hopefully, obviously, we can strengthen as well. And as you say, next week in Newtown in the final at Park Avenue as well. Yeah, that's well. a great game. Well, obviously it's a Mid Wales derby as well, so obviously it, it is a local derby and we're just going to hope now that we get the right result and um, put us back into Europe, obviously where the club deserve to be. So, as you say, for Europe, uh, 200,000 euros, it's a great incentive for the club and the players to get there. It is, you get me, obviously that sort of money obviously can define the club, obviously uh, it'll bring improvements within the squad, obviously the facilities and the club can grow, as I said it's a big club anyway, uh, but obviously uh, the more times obviously we get into Europe, obviously the more money that's invested into the club, obviously the bigger it's going to become and hopefully we can expand, maybe one day go like TNS, obviously full time, get the artificial pitches, so that's the end goal maybe, obviously you'd have to speak to the chairmen of the club about that, I'm not too sure, but hopefully we can carry on in that direction.